Today on the channel, we're taking a look at Marvel Legends. Madam Hydra will unbox it, review it, talk about it a little bit. Um, I don't know anything about this character. Uh, I basically got this character uh, to be to stand next beside uh, Doctor Doom. Um, I guess kind of like an evil in for Skeletor or Cobra Commander has uh, Baroness. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just saw this uh, this superhero chick, this bad chick, and I guess she's like supposed to be uh, with um, the Red Skull because she's like a Hydra chick. But I don't know. I was just like, well, she's dressed all in green. She kind of looks like a, a Doctor Doom's right hand lady, if you will. So I don't know. I thought she just looked good standing uh, beside Doctor Doom. That's why I got her. And, um, yeah, so let's take a look. Okay, well, it comes in the Marvel Legends standard packaging here. Got a nice, sexy looking picture on the side here. Same picture on the back. It also comes with this uh, build a piece for Marvel's controller. Never heard of that character before. But, uh, I'm guessing he, like, well, he looks like a bad guy. Kind of like uh, Darkseid or Thanos. He kind of has a like, stone rock looking face. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's just open this from the side. I haven't opened a Marvel Legends for a, for a while here. Cool uh, Hydra symbol on the on the top there. Pretty good. Got the Hydra symbol on the back here, which looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I wish the tent uh the, like the tentacles didn't have these little like suction cup thingies, or that looks like little uh, kind of like little spikes or something. I think it would just look better if it was smooth. So here's the, the guy's leg. Again, I won't be completing that figure. I, I never complete the build of figures. Well, she comes with two extra hands. She comes with two fists, and then two, uh, I guess, gun holding hands on the figure here. And then she comes with like, looks like two, looks like two German Lugers, kind of like modified with this like nice like snake skin print handles. So. Pretty nice weapons. Pretty nice. Um, the figure itself. The, the first thing like that caught my uh, caught my eye when I first looked at the figure is yeah, it looks good. Like she looks sexy. The the sculpt and everything. The eyes are a little bug eyed looking. Like doesn't on camera it doesn't look so much, but I don't know. In, in certain angles, like she kind of looks a little bug eyed. I was wondering if I could put like a little makeup around the eye to kind of make them look a little better. But the more and more I look at it, it's looking less and less like eyes kind of like just bulging out of their head or something like a stare look. But um, the makeup, the makeup looks good on the head. The, the hair looks great. I like this haircut she has. I like the makeup on the face. I like the green lips and everything. Um, articulation, she has single jointed elbows. And, uh, head articulation, I don't know what's going on up there. It has like neck and head articulation, but because of the hair, it doesn't really move around too much. Um, 
Oh, that's that's interesting. There's no like movement at this part of the waist. It's just like basically the upper part here of the of the body moves. Well, that's different. Then double jointed knees. And the feet just go up and down, side to side a little bit. Yeah, they go side to side also. So her gun holsters are really nice. These uh, Hydra logos here on the side in the gold are really uh, like super clear and clean looking. They look they look really nice. The little buckle here and these like this little thing here. Booty's looking pretty good. I guess hole in the back for a previous character. I don't know. So again, yeah, I don't really know who this character is, but I said, oh man, this this looks like a hot chick that would uh, look great standing with uh, Doctor Doom. So as far as her standing, I don't have any Red Skull figures, but even if I were to get Red Skull figures, I would get him like. In the all black books, I wouldn't get like the comic book him wearing the green outfit. So, so that they, they would never really, uh, they would never look good. Oh, you know what? The, there's not a hole at the bottom of the holster, so the the gun being kind of on the kind of on the long side doesn't really go in all the way. So it's kind of a little odd. But at the same time, at the same time, I was. Wondering if I was gonna like shorten these guns because a lot of times I don't know like I I could see myself just shortening the barrel of the gun just to like make it look a little more pleasant and a little more kind of realistic. But uh, I don't know how I have her holding the guns or the guns will be in her holster. I'm not really sure. So, so yeah, here's the Doctor Doom. As far as greens, she's got like. A similar dark green, and then the other green obviously is brighter, but they do look uh, they do look pretty good together as a as a duo here. So then I got the the God King Doom also chilling. Oh, like overall, I'm very uh, very pleased with the figure. I think she looks great. Well, that's Marvel Legends uh, Madam Hydra. Overall, it's a pretty good figure, a pretty sexy looking figure. The sculpt's really sexy with this tiny little waist and those tits just like sitting on top of that core. She looks great in the hair. Very sexy figure. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. Pretty happy. It's a simple looking figure, but yeah, looks great. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm John Soroka. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe for more content like this, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.